everyone and welcome to the very first session of Micah Miked Up. A lot of players online ask me what it looks like when I do my regular job, my regular on-court coaching. And so what I've done is I just mic myself up for a session that I did a couple of days ago with Erica. She's about to go off to college at D3 school and Faisal, who was so kind to jump in as a hitting partner. My name is Micah Babel. I'm a former top 30 WTA pro. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm about to reach 1000 here very soon. So if you could help me with your subscription, that would be amazing. So just to give you a little bit of a background about the session that you're um, going to see. Erica had issues with her wrist for quite a while um, while I was coaching her. And so we had to resort sometimes to playing with orange balls just to be able to work on the volley, just to lessen the impact the ball would have on her wrist. So volleys, net play, approach shots is definitely an area, um, an area that she has to work on. And what I do like to do when I have players that are of equal level, um, I love to do two on ones because I'm not a big fan of just feeding. I'm, uh, I love doing live ball stuff. I love playing in. And so you're seeing a lot of two on one work because that gives very specific things to work for either player and nobody's just standing around and not doing anything. So again, feel free to subscribe to my channel here and I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you soon. All right, that's where you're operating from. Okay. But you want to work around that area because that makes it just a little tougher. All right, so don't close in too much. All right, All right we're trying to keep the ball in play. And if we miss a ball, unless it's in somebody's feet. You, you, you. Oopsies. Good. You. That touched the net. Okay, good. So you're still on the forehand, it's so much better already that you get your outside leg behind the ball and then you're striding forward. On the backhand, you're still getting stuck a lot in this. All right, so you have your left foot behind the ball, see if you can get your right to stride in. Yeah, you do. All right, lower base. And you want to turn a little bit more because right now you're very much just here from your arm. So turn a little bit more, set that. Remember you want to box out a little bit and then stride in. Yeah, so be a little bit more deliberate with your racket work. There we go. Good. There we go. Me or you. So in doubles, when you're the person that calls the ball, you better swing. Good. That's all right. That's all right. Keep playing. See, when you're missing a ball and we get it back somehow awkwardly, that, those are balls that you have to be able to play. All right, so don't stop. And back up just a smidgen. All right, so you're working more around the, the service line and then start with a much lower base. Ready? Here we go. You, up, good. You. Good. See, and those are the balls when he's hitting those volleys. 
um, and they're deep and low, that's when you sit against them, right? And you just brush heavy against them. Because if you're falling back and you're trying to lift them, right? You had two balls and they, I think both of them were on the frame. There we go. Up, up, up. Nice pop on those. Of course, then I jinx you. Good. All right, four more to warm up. See, and then you turn and run. Because you don't need it. No, definitely not. Good. There we go. Turn, drop step, cross over, and then you move back sideways. Because if you start shuffling, you're not gonna yeah, you're not gonna pick up pace. And it looks kind of funky. All right, here's what we're gonna do. 10 balls, and I'll refill if needed. We're going up, downs, we can do whatever we want. So we're trying to torture her. All right. All right, so it can be low volleys, can be forehands, can be overheads, can be anything. All right, do it like Martina. All right, Martina Navratilova did this drill 45 minutes solid. Yep. So, no, it was Martina Navratilova, it's like, yeah. I'm sure Hingis did the same kind of workload. But, here we go. Four. Good. Six. Seven. Oh, donuts. All right, we'll do one more with eight balls. If you miss a ball, keep going. I right, don't let the whole set get spoiled just because you miss one. Yep, and you can back up a little bit. That's a little mean. Oh, get under it. Good. You. Oh, that's too short. But you get those in matches. Good. Good get. Here we go. One. Good. Good. Oh, and that's ten. I think. I start counting every single time and then I'm like, I think it's five now. All right, one. Three. Five. Good. Come in, don't let bounce. Good. Nine, one more. One. Ah, uh, sorry. Three. Four. Good. All right, keep your legs under your... Yep. Don't just reach. Good. Totally lost count. We're at five. <laughs> get up there, get up there. Good, come on. Recover. There we go. Last one. Faisal, you start a little staggered to the right of the hash mark. Okay, so I'll 
be behind you basically. I'll feed a short ball in, can be forehand or backhand, and you take it, you come into phase of backhand. Right? But when you come in, what you don't want to do is, right, if I'm pulling them out here, that I'm doing this, and then I'm cutting over. Right? I'm going directly as the ball flies, basically. Right? You can always remember that you have a string attached to the ball, and the ball pulls you in. Make sense? Yeah. All right, we'll play the point out. And even though you know that it's coming to your backhand, you always start about here. And I could be mean and make you start right over here on the... <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You know, back in, in when, when I was your age, we started from there. Just kidding. All right, ready? Go. Yep. And keep working on your split step, right? When he's making contact, you want to be on top of your bounce. Okay, that's just too good. There's nothing that you can do with your volley on that. Right? That's when you kind of have to ask yourself, was my approach shot good enough? And that, to my mind, happens in matches a whole lot of times, right? When you're coming in, you get passed a bunch of times, you go like, oh, my volley is terrible. But it starts earlier, so I think that was a little too short. It was too, more too short, I think, right? Because, oh, yeah, because fa yeah, Faisal was able to step in forward, right, and get around on the ball. All right, off you go. You stopped a little bit, right? So on that one, you had your split step, but it was almost a stop step, yeah. right? So you split and then carry on through, okay. right? Always, I mean, remember or pretend that you touch the net after you hit your volley, so you move on through to keep your feet under your body. Now, careful that you're not popping up after your approach shot. Right? You don't want to be low here, hit your approach, then pop up, and then have to duck down. Stay low the entire time. Yep. Good. Okay, see if you can pull him wider a little bit. You've hit a lot of them through the middle, which is not a bad thing, right? Because he doesn't have a whole lot of angles there. But we want to work a little bit more that you're being more aggressive going towards the lines. Not crazy. And then you do that. There we go. <laughs> wow. Good. Up the sting split step. Top of the bounds when he's making contact, so as you're coming down, you can bound either way. Is it proper to approach cross court? If it's in the middle, in the middle. Okay. right? If the ball's in the middle, you can go either way. Don't, 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 blah, blah, blah. don't go for that, right? If it sits more there, I would go down the line. Okay. But yeah, that's why I'm trying to really feed it in the middle. Good shot. There we go. Good, and how much credit are you giving yourself? So we are happy about the second ball that we're making. <laughs> Instead of now, then going into your car and go like I can't volley. Yeah, so keep that in mind, right? How far you've already progressed in this from what to, no, was it last summer even? Yeah, that we had to use, video. yeah, orange balls. All right, I can feed them anywhere, but you're going to our backhand. And on a lot of balls, they're really, really low. Right, you got to have a lot of stability there. Yeah, so on that, I would say like that approach shot has to be a little deeper. It was a little too tame. Ooh, you got robbed. Kidding. Good, 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 good. 
Yeah, on the first ball, if you don't see a clear opening, because he is doing a good job with the deep ball uh -huh. and closing in and cut, covering properly, uh -huh. see if you can dip down to his feet. Right? Make him volley up to you, and then you go for your second ball. Or just hit a shank winner. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we need a little more depth on the approach shots. And I don't mind when you hit them with a little bit more height, right? Because it gives you a little more time to come in. It's uh, equal to a slice, right? If you blast it through it, most of all people can just sit against it. Sit through it, yep. Yeah, because yeah, if you're trying to move back yeah. to make room for that, it's not coming up to you, right? And then it's this, yeah. So that's when you literally see Angie Kerber, like, I don't know how she gets back up, but her knees are literally touching the ground. I'm glad we have that on camera.